A lot of you have black roller bags. Mine is the only one that has orange chicken feet sticking out of it. Why is that? Why is it? I spot that thing a mile away. But here's what happens. Somebody, when you put your bag in wheels first, it's fine. But sometimes it won't fit and I've got to put it like this. And I've had other people come behind me and move my bag and then I have to check it. Since I put the chicken feet in there, it doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> I've watched people grab the handle, get right about here, and just put it back. Tim was amazing. Very, very good. He's funny. <laughs> he was really terrific. Tim was awesome. This is a great time. Enjoyable and full of laughter. Okay, whatever. Don't bug me. Hi, I'm Tim Garn. I've been a professional speaker now for over 17 years. I've spoken at over 2,000 events all over the world, from Texas to Tasmania. Your days are a series of good and bad things, true or false? When something bad happens, I put my hand right here and I say, bummer, try that, bummer, let it go. When something good happens, I do this, woohoo, try that. Sometimes you just do it in your mind. I mean, when a beautiful woman sits next to me on the airplane, I don't go, woohoo! <laughs> At least not anymore. I've had over two million people in my audiences. I was chosen as Meeting Planners International Magazine Best Speaker Ever Seen or Heard on the Platform in 2010. I'm a CPAE, Council of Peers Award of Excellence, or Hall of Fame Speaker. There are only 145 other CPAEs on the planet today. Every time I find another one, I kill them. There can be only one. In my programs, I really try to avoid giving out Peter Pan advice, that I teach people how to be more resourceful. I want them to be more resilient, and when they tell people to think outside the box, I think humor is one of the business tools that we can use to accomplish that. I don't make light of serious situations. Instead, I shine a light on unforeseen possibilities and show the audience how they can use their comic visions to solve you problems themselves when they get back to work. Matter. You get first bag free, second bag's gonna cost you $500. I said, there's gotta be another way to do this. And he said, no. And I said, what's a one-way ticket cost to the Gold Coast? And he said, they're on sale for $98. Sell me another one of those. And he goes, what do you mean, you already have one? I said, on your airline, this first ticket, this bag flies free, this other ticket, this bag flies free. I just saved $402. And it made him mad. And he handed me the tickets and I thought I'd better look at him and I saw that I'm in 16A and 23D. And I said to him, can't I sit together? In business today, people are being asked to do and more said, with less. I teach said, people how to use humor as a business skill to help to them accomplish so what they need to be able myself? to do. That voodoo that they do so well. You come home, your husband and wife, how was your day? There's my day. Deal with that day. Let's see what happened. Oh, I can't talk about it. You wouldn't understand. So you, you drag it back to work with you. If you want to reduce stress, be really, really good at what you do. End of the day, do this. Five o'clock, done for the day, do your dismount. <laughs> you stuck that day and then turn around and do this. And you stay. In my programs, I use extraordinary items in ordinary ways and ordinary items in extraordinary ways to teach people how to use humor as a skill to overcome their own situational stress factors. This is one of my new inventions. These are don't bug me glasses. <laughs> you can put these on. People will leave you alone. I actually have my official policy manual. On the front it says, this is my official policy, my manual. And it also says it's good to be king. And ladies, there's a sticker that goes over it that says, it's good to be queen. I'm funny, not stupid. I don't teach people to be comedians in my programs. What I want them to do is solve problems. A lot of people think that I put the chicken feet in my suitcase as a joke. Actually, what it did was it solved a problem. I actually use those chicken feet on every single airplane I'm on. The fact that it's funny, it's just icing on the cake. The toenails and he goes, it's clear. <laughs> we all smile and laugh in the same language. When I'm on stage and I hear the audience laughing and, and I can see that they have tears in their eyes and fallen out of their seat laughing, it, it makes me feel very good and it makes me better and it drives me to be better on stage and, and really enjoy the time there are times when I don't want people sitting with me that's when I use my comic visions coloring book if I'm coloring 
people will leave me alone. And if I'm coloring pictures of myself, And he looks at me and he says, you win. And I said, I don't want to win, I just want to have what? Fun. Fun.